My name is Chelsea. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about distortion and showing a couple examples of how it works. So distortion is the misrepresentation of size or shape in a radiographic image. Distortion by size is known as magnification. Um, it increases when the body part is away from the image receptor. So that means when the OID is increased, the magnification is also increased. So if we're going to use the wall here as my image receptor my hand as the object, and my phone flashlight here as our x-ray beam. So if you increase the OID, the magnification also increases. When you can't reduce the OID anymore, to reduce magnification, you can increase the SID and it has the same effect. The magnification will decrease when you increase the SID, when you decrease the SID, the magnification increases. Distortion by shape has two types. Um, there's elongation and foreshortening. So to show elongation, if I have my x-ray tube here, it ha elongation happens when the x-ray tube is angled towards the eye, uh, towards the object. So pull it back here, and it's angled. My fingers appear a lot longer. And if I angle my hand toward, see how my shadow gets a lot smaller. Right. So that's foreshortening. Foreshortening is obtained when the body part is angled towards the x-ray beam. Elongation is when the x-ray beam is angled towards the object itself. This is just a cool little video that I found online that I thought was a cool visual. Um, just states that magnification occurs due to an increase in the OID or a decrease in the SID or the SOD. There's also a magnification rule that states for every one inch of OID, we'd use seven inches SID to compensate to prevent a distortion. In order to calculate the magnification, you need to get the image size over the object size and the source image distance over the source object distance. For example, a 44 inch SID is used to radiograph an anatomical part of 5 inches in width. If the object lies 6 inches from the image receptor, what will be the width of the image? First you need to find the source object distance, which is the SID minus the OID. Since they told you that the object lies 6 inches from the IR, you would take 44, which is the SID, and subtract 6 to get the, th the 38 inches of SOD. The next step is to get the magnification factor, which you can get by taking the SID and dividing it by the SOD that you just found in the first step. So 44 inches of SID divided by 38 inches of OID will give you an answer of 1.16. Now that you have your magnification factor of 1.16, you can multiply that by the object size, which was 5 inches, and that'll give you an answer of 5.8 inches, which is the width of the image.